Nicola Sturgeon, do you support the Prime Minister's attempt to reform the European Union? Well, I think there is a case for reform of the European Union. I'm not sure what David Cameron's specific objectives are in terms of reform, so it's hard for me to say which ones I agree with and which ones I don't. For my part, I want to see a, a European Union that allows greater discretion to national governments on issues like public policy, while focusing on the areas where cooperation can make a bigger impact. I want you know, more proportionate regulation um, and greater transparency and democracy. I don't support moves that would undermine the fundamental underpinnings of the European Union, like restricting freedom of movement. So I'll continue to make a positive and constructive case for our membership and argue for those reforms that I think are right. And you've hinted at it there, but should any re uh, reforms involve changes to the treaties? I don't think we need to change the treaties in order to get the reforms that are necessary and appropriate. In fact, I think if the approach is to seek treaty change, then that, what that will do is make it less likely that reforms can be achieved. So I want us to focus on the sensible reforms that are about making the European Union better. Um, and making sure that citizens across all of the member states benefit more. So, you know, for example, completing the single market on services, you know, making changes around digital services so that citizens, like is the case with roaming charges, see practical and tangible benefits of membership of the European Union. What would withdrawal, if that's what it comes to, mean for Scotland? Well, I think withdrawal would be very damaging for Scotland. There are 300,000 jobs in Scotland that are dependent on our exports to the European Union. There are somewhere in the region of 2,000 international companies that are in Scotland, at least in part because of our membership of the single market. So there would be deeply damaging economic consequences. But I also think it would be bad for our society and our culture and our diversity as a country. If Scotland was to be taken out of the European Union against its will, of course, having voted to stay in, then I think that would cause deep democratic disquiet as well. And that's why I've put forward the proposal for a double majority, so that the UK could only leave if each of England, Wales, Scotland and Northern Ireland voted to do so. Would you campaign, are you going to be campaigning on a cross-party basis? I'm not planning to share platforms with David Cameron or George Osborne or Tory politicians because I, I don't think our views coincide on many. Yeah, well, look, I'm going to make, I'm going to focus on making a positive case for continued membership of the EU. I'll do that as SNP leader and First Minister of Scotland, and I will uh, do that to the best of my ability because I think it's right for Scotland and for the UK to seek to reform the European Union in sensible ways, but to stay within it. If Scotland says yes and the rest of the UK says no, what happens? Then. I think we should avoid having that scenario arise. If we have the double majority provision, uh, the kind of provision that is commonplace in many federal states, then the UK could only leave if England, Wales, Sc uh, Scotland and Northern Ireland each voted to leave. Now, I think that would be democratic and fair. If Scotland voted to stay in but was taken out anyway, I think there would be deep anger on the part of many people in Scotland and I've said previously it could be one of the factors that led to demand for a future Scottish independence referendum but it's within David Cameron's power to stop that happening. And that relates to the last question then, if Scotland says yes, the UK says no, will it trigger a number, another referendum on independence in Scotland? Well, that would depend on majority opinion in Scotland, but I've said before that it is one of those factors that could trigger demand for another independence referendum, because if Scotland had voted to stay in the European Union but ended up on the exit route, then there would be deep concern and anxiety about that. Uh, but I repeat again, it's within the power of David Cameron to take away that risk by agreeing to a sensible democratic double majority provision.